Good afternoon. Good to see you. Good to be with you uh, in Paris in this building in which I've been a trainee. Uh, I will not tell you when, well, it was in 1970, not yesterday, but uh, it's always good to be here. You have had uh, two, two days of very intense uh, discussions, panels, uh, exchange of views about uh, what you call climate finance. So I understand I'm one of the last uh, speakers of these two days, so I'll try to focus my, my comments on three points. Uh, maybe first I should tell you from which point of view I make these uh, points. I make these points from the point of view of chairman of a European bank, well, a French bank, definitively, but a European bank. But I may also use my previous experience as president of a multilateral institution, having spent uh, a lot of time and dedication on these questions. I was president of the EBRD, and you can understand that these questions are highly crucial in the eastern part of Europe. And uh, so I try to share views based on these uh, various experiences. And what I see today, uh, the work which uh, is undertaken by UNEP, FI, and 28 banks, building up principles for responsible banking show the uh, deep, serious uh, transformation of the industry. We haven't seen this before. I think this is new, and I would like to stress upon the fact that this is very important from my point of view. Uh, and I hope that to a large extent it does address the expectations of society. There is a demand, there are expectations, they are high, and uh, I think we share them, and we try to address them. From this view, there are mainly three questions. What's happening? What does it mean? And how to move forward? And I, I don't want to add to what has been told to you uh, yesterday and today, but managed to give my view on these three questions. What's happening? I think what's happening is quite clear. The financial sector is no longer neutral. It has become a key actor in the energy transition. This is what we want to do in BNP Paribas, and this is what my colleagues in the financial industry uh, want to do. It means encouraging, through the choices we make, the production and consumption of non-carbon energy instead of uh, fossil fuels. I repeat this, it may be obvious for you, but this is very important, we have a clear view about what we do. And after 2015, the Paris Agreement, uh, for instance, BNP Paribas, we, uh, we have decided to be committed to aligning the activities we have with a two-degree scenario of the International Energy Agency. And we have immediately adapted our policies and practices. What does it mean? In 2015, we have decided to stop financing coal-fired power plants project, and we have subjected the financing of energy companies to a reduction in the share of coal in the energy mix they have. We have also made a very strong commitment regarding high growth carbons by ceasing to finance projects involving oil and gas in shale and tar sands. At the same time, between 2015 and 2017, we have increased the funding of renewable energies by 70%. What does it mean in concrete terms? It means that these choices 
have already produced significant impact. Between 2016 and 2017, in one year, the share of fossil fuels in the electricity mix that we finance has decreased from 56 to 52 percent. The share of renewable energy rose from 23.5 to 26 percent. You, you may think it's not a lot, but you know the inertia of banks' portfolio. It takes time to shift the portfolio from one policy to another policy. And what we have seen over one year is sizable. And it shows the real commitment we have had to deliver this. And energy transition is, is a priority for us, but it's a priority, I'm sure, for most and all the European banks. Of course, it's the role of the NGOs, the role of governments, to ask for more, to create an incentive to deliver more. They are right. We have no difficulty with this. We share, I think, the same willingness. We want to contribute to complying with the Paris Agreement, and we shall continue year after year to make new commitments to strengthen the role we have in the energy transition. And I think we are all moving in the same direction. We can have a debate about the speed, and this is a fair debate, but we move in the same direction. Now, what, what does it mean? And let me use my experience to, be, to try to be clear on this. Uh, transition uh, means moving uh, from one world to another one from a set of rules and behaviors to other ones. It is about making efforts to adapt, but it's not about stopping living. People on the planet need to move, need to work, need to keep warm, need to communicate. Communication today is about a lot of energy. And uh, we need to keep this in mind. And the French Minister of Finance has asked the banks design solutions to enable more people, for instance in France, to buy an electric car. Similar considerations are underway regarding the energy efficiency of buildings. We agree on this. And BNP Paribas, we are already taking action in these areas. We offer, for example, a one-person loan for electricity cars, and we have a proactive role in ongoing discussions with the authorities to go even further. But the Paris Agreement doesn't provide for a sudden exit from coal or any other fossil-based energy. It relies on the principle of progressivity and differentiation, especially when taking into account the needs of developing countries. Asia has three quarters of the world's coal and three quarters of the power plants. Asia, at the same time, Asian countries are fast moving their renewable energy capacities, starting with China. The world is stunned by the scale of the efforts made by many emerging market countries. Most of these countries are on the right track, but their people may still need some sources of energy and need adaptation in order to make progress. That's exactly the challenge all of us we have. We would like once more more speed, but we have to, to do it and to move forward in a very firm way, clear way, but we need also to take into account the needs of the people. From that extent, renewable energy is key. China, the United States, France are progressing quite a lot. And the French president today has announced significant strengthening of public support for renewable energy. We welcome. We at BNP Paribas, we try to progress in the same field. Banks, insurance, asset managers need to actively share the same policies. 
So the ecological transition can only succeed if three elements are met or are taken into account. The respect for the planet, of course, the balance between different regions, and attention to people. How can we manage this? First of all, we need to get the priorities right. All experts agree that the two degree scenario, and probably, of course, a 1.5 degree scenario, is not possible to deliver in the current state of technology. So it is by supporting innovation that the financial world may have one of the largest impact and provide the best service to the energy transition. The best way to reduce CO2 emissions is to create energies, machines, organizations, organizational frameworks that do not exi exist yet. We have to invest, and in the financial sector, we have to finance invention and creativity. This is exactly what has led us uh, not only to allocate significant resources to financing green technology, but also to join the Breakthrough Energy Coalition founded by Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, as well as Bertrand Piccard's Solar Impulse Foundation. Organizations are seeking out the innovations to make the energy transition a reality. They will turn this challenge into an opportunity we are already seeing some breakthroughs in technologies that have the potential to be a game changing, but it will require more efforts and more funding. This is, of course, one of the priorities we need to have. And to that extent, to measure the impact we have, we need uh, to, be, to work with other banks. And we are currently working on analytical tools to allow the measurement of the impact we have in our portfolio. We share with our banking peers in order to progress further. This very technical work will have a considerable impact and moreover will provide a definitive answer to all the discussions on methodology. This is very, you know in this room what it means and you see how crucial it is for the future that we do agree on this type of measurement. There's no investment, no policy without measurement. It's not about PR. It's about efficiency and deliveries for the people. And we have to be accountable. And in order to be accountable, we need to measure. Innovation also means working differently and working together for the common good. And through our program with the UN Environment and Sustainable Finance Facilities, we have found that it is possible to bring together the willing players among banks, investors, multilateral development institutions, governments, businesses, scientists, and NGOs. Together, we can carry out major programs that enable transition to agroecology or the restoration of biodiversity at national level. The United Nations provides an excellent framework for these stakeholders to work together on the transformative projects that we need. And I would like to pay, uh, to use this opportunity to pay a special tribute and to extend my warm thanks to Satya Tripathi, who is Deputy Secretary General of the UN Environment. I don't know, I haven't seen if Yes, he's in the building. <laughs> His mind is in the room. <laughs> His body is in the building. He's everywhere. But because he's not here, and you will not report to him, uh, he's a great man. He has done a lot. He's a man of vision and a man of delivery. And this is exactly what we need. He has taken initiative. He has decided visions, and he has put people together around the vision, and even more, but this is a secret I'll share with you, he has put together banks, and it's not easy. And he has done extremely well, and that's great. And we need people like him, we need organizations like uh, his organization to do it. 
and we are very proud to work with him and uh, uh, to have delivered a project, especially in Indonesia, uh, where we have, with him, built up the first project he has delivered, and we have delivered together to restore biodiversity and provide work for 16,000 people and provide the Michelin company, the tire company, with rubber that meets very high environmental and social standards. This is a breakthrough in the way we can operate, and this is an extremely good example. And this program has been partially funded by very large investors and backed by the guarantees of multilateral development banks. And we are beginning to develop such a blended finance project elsewhere. And we in Benfe Paribas, we are very proud to have uh, been able to team up with him to do this, and we shall continue to. We have done in Indonesia, we are working on projects in India, and uh, my colleagues are even thinking on new projects elsewhere. Th this is great. This is really great. And uh, if I do insist on the how, not only on technological innovation, I insist also on partnership innovation. And this kind of process, way to team up, way to deliver, tomorrow way to measure what we do, is probably the best service we can give to energy transition and improvement of the planet. And the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations are a good framework. They combine all the features of an inclusive environment with progress for all. Energy is addressed, but also access to water, biodiversity on land and in the sea, not to mention the main aspects of human developments. And you understand that my favorite goal is the number 17, which invites us to force partnership, to forge partnership, to succeed in the transition processes and that are before us. If we are to give the children and our children the world they deserve, we must first learn to work together. I would like simply to finish by a very strong personal commitment. Uh, you understand that I do believe in this. I do not believe in the fact that finance is passive or finance is cynical. This is not the way to build up a sustainable world. I do believe in committed finance, in good and decent business, but having a positive social impact, having a positive environmental impact. And in my career, I have spent time on this, and I have no doubt those who those who say to you that this is not compatible are wrong. This is compatible. You need very skilled people to do it, but they can do it. And when it is done, it's very moving, it's great, and it is an incentive even to deliver more. And that's what we are committed at. Thank you for listening, and wish you a nice evening in Paris.